What's up, Agat? Take a look at this. The walls and floors of these ruins, what do you think they're made of? Just rocks? I thought so too at first. Just regular stone, hewn and stacked, right? But... With natural materials, processed and put together, you'd expect some flaws, some deformations somewhere? And with this ruin shooting up into the sky like this, even small variations at ground level would cause it to tilt over. What's your theory then? Well, the treated blocks were stacked up into the sky with perfect accuracy and no errors. That much is true. But the strength of it is unparalleled. Over hundreds, thousands, or tens of thousands of years, the walls and floors didn't break or become brittle. Amazing work by people from age past. At our level of technology, it's unimaginable. I marvel at the minerals and materials used to create this site, though I don't pretend to understand them. The whole world tree is a mystery for sure. You seem pretty excited. Obviously. I'm curious about the construction, of course, but more than that, I love the adventure of it. Just thinking about the ancient people who built this place, about their hopes and dreams, and, and these symbols I can't read. Are they knowledge? Are they a warning? All these objects made of materials I've never seen before. Just being here makes me feel so alive, makes my mind soar. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. I can't even imagine how many people had to work on making a building as enormous as this one. Even just this wall probably took dozens of people hours, if not days. All of these people's blood, sweat, and tears sealed in these walls of stone. This place is like a crystallization of the ancient wills. <laughs> That's a nice way to put it. But yes, this wonderful lasting tribute is one of a kind on all rest. We should make sure to search the ruins thoroughly and find all we can about the ancient inhabitants. Seems relatively bug-free. Hey, you almost sound disappointed. I, for one, am quite glad that the inside of the world tree is a bug-free zone. You know, since it's called a tree, I was afraid there might be all sorts of creepy crawlies nesting here. So that's why you were so cheerful while exploring. Exactly. I love minerals, like, a lot. And I hate bugs about the same amount. In fact, I think that the more I love geology, the more I hate bugs. I fail to see the connection. Sorry to keep Master Pond waiting. Ah, Poppy! Just in time! Master Pond starving! Poppy collected only best ingredients. What could you possibly collect in a place like this? What you got then? Can I have some? Is delicacy when fried. Jabara bugs. Get them away!